is about uh, the capturing of Adolf Eichmann and um, you know all of all of the people who I've like learned through talking with the different actors that are playing the members of the Mossad that like all of those characters, all of those people in real life, it's so interesting because you could literally make a whole movie or TV series about like each one of these people's characters and their lives and what they went through. And through talking to like all of the actors that play those people and portraying those people, like um, just to get more into their life and everything, they've all, they had all been so affected by what Adolf Eichmann had done to their families, to them, to their friends, to their you know, community. So g getting that justice and going after is like the most, um, f they're so focused on doing that because it's like, um, it means so much to all of those people. I play Sylvia Herman, who is a young woman who was a real person and is still a living real person, so I'm told. Uh, there's not much about her now out on the internet, but um, she was a young woman who was in a relationship with Klaus, Adolf Eichmann's son, not knowing that he was Adolf Eichmann's son and also not knowing the truth about her and who she is and her identity. She um, was raised by her father as a German, um, but really her father was a Holocaust survivor and, and uh, she finds that out early on in the movie and then that's you know what leads to her helping out and being so brave at such a young age. I was just told earlier today that she was 16 when this was happening. And to like have that responsibility and that pressure to go in there and be with these, surrounded by these scary people that could just go off and who knows what they would do to you. And she, she did that, you know, um, in the midst of also just realizing that she, her whole life was kind of a lie in a way, you know. Uh, and that she could lose everything she has. I don't know, it's pretty intense. This is the first script I've read where obviously I've seen movies that are based off real events, real things, war, you know, love stories, whatever, Titanic, all that kind of stuff. But like, this is the first script I've read picturing myself as one of these people um, that's so historically accurate, you know? And reading that, it's like one thing reading a script like this and it just being a script, like a fictional story, but it's another thing knowing that like that happened. Joe has been very, very nice, um, really like gentleman and a really natural, uh, subtle actor, which is cool because I think, I think I, I mean, I'm not supposed to do this as an actor, but sometimes you like have expectations for how other characters like would be. And I always pictured him as being colder but he's like brought this warmth to like Klaus Eichmann, you know, who's like the son of this terrible guy who's probably been mistreated and brainwashed his whole life. And like he's brought this like humanity and warmth to it that I wasn't expecting, which is actually way more interesting than whatever I was expecting in, to begin with. So, yeah. Hey, Vali here. Did you like the video? Did you know it was based on a book? Hollywood often turns to novels and non-fiction books for movie ideas, but sometimes the films are so popular that they overshadow their source material. Here are some famous movies you might not know were based on books. Die Hard was based on the book Nothing Lasts Forever by Roderick Thor. Full Metal Jacket was based on The Short Timers by Gustav Hasford. The There Will Be Blood story was taken from Oil by Upton Sinclair. Ben Affleck's The Town was based on the book Prince of Thieves by Chuck Hogan. What's your favorite movie based on a book? Let me know in the comments below and see you next time. Bye-bye.